Hello everyone, I am T Drinking Turret and welcome back to Danganronpa 2. Now last time we dealt with the weird flexing death of Mikan and the resurrection of Nekumaru in um, robot form. So let's see what the hell is going on here. Yay! Nurse's apron. Nope, I just had. We were hoping things would progress smoothly. That's right, a common, ordinary progression would have been just fine. Like, for example, the enemy's lair crum crumbling right after you defeat the final boss or your dead friend suddenly reappearing. It would have been just fine if things had progressed like that. That's the kind of old school progression we were hoping for. Not this unreasonable turn of events. The name's Nekomaru Nidai! I've been reborn in the rivers of hell! N Nekomaru? Is that you? <laughs> no matter how you look at it, I'm still me! No matter how we look at it, this isn't you at all! Jeez! Jeez, you guys are a strange lot. You're all such big wide eyes. <laughs> Or perhaps you will fall in love with this metallic body of mine. I don't know what you want to say, but just by looking in your eyes. Again, I am the former team manager. What happened? Do you look like you've seen a ghost or something? Hey man, don't get scared me sign you with that strange ass mask. As he raised his stammering voice, Kazuichi grabbed to Nekomaru's head and... I already know. Come on, take it off. <laughs> Ow, 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 ow. Stop it. Stop it. Hey, hey. Huh? Why won't it come off? Wait, what? Are you freaking kidding me? Uh, Holy crap! It's not just for show! Pure electricity! It's not just for show, it's pure electricity. I've been reborn as pure electricity. <laughs> if you're seriously Nekamaru. Damn it. That's my fault, right? You ended up getting a body like that, it's all my fault, right? S sorry. Sorry, Nekamari. I don't know how to apologise for this. <laughs> don't worry about it, a lot of stuff happens when you're alive. You serious? You're too upbeat, is this really okay? <laughs> you're like sweating the small stuff, you're gonna end up getting more grey hairs. Hey, hey. Commenting on every little thing he does is a waste of time. <laughs> hey. But you really Nekomaru, right? You came back for us, right? That's right, I've returned from the depths of hell in shining silver. You. How are you even okay with that? It doesn't even compare to me, Eyepatch. How can you accept that body? Oh. It's better to just be alive. Huh? 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 It's better to just be alive. Hey, don't you agree? If I'm alive, I can still talk to you all. If I'm alive, I can still fight. Show some spirit! It doesn't matter what happens to my body, not one bit. Amazing! You're amazing, Nekamaru is brimming, we hope. It's better to just be alive. I do understand what Nekamaru is saying, though. No matter how we make sense of it, it's just too weird. This isn't a novel or a movie, this is a real this is reality, not some messed up video game. Can something this unexplainable really be allowed to happen? No, instead. Why did this happen? Um, anyway, I'm glad that's fine, right? Right, Nekomaru definitely came back to us. As a mecha? My bye, bye, I'm interrupting your touching reunion. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Why is Nekomaru a robot? Hey! Um, well, unfortunately, it was truly difficult to save Nekomaru from the jaws of death. But they don't call me Psychopop Magician for nothing. Oh my goodness! Such a wonderful before and after! Occurred. <laughs> it appears to be a little too dramatic fancy that, that I'm getting stabbed by all these envious stairs. Hey, hey! Hey, if you're really a rabbit robot, what's going on with your thought process? Is that a program too? Then what happened to the other stuff like your self-awareness end? <laughs> I'm out of time so I have to tell you that it doesn't matter. No matter what shape or form I take, I'm Nekomaru Nidai. Is he? Is he gonna power through the rest of his life with his new abilities? Hmm. That kind of reaction, it looks like you really are self aware. <gasps> that means this technology is insane! I've never seen or heard of anything like this. Phew. 
what, what the commoner considers advanced. It's not much of an advancement. You think advancements exist in colleges and laboratories? That's a huge misunderstanding. <laughs> the real advancements exist in the place where you can pass on that talent. Hey, hey. And you're saying that's you? Are you really that amazing? You. Stop admiring him. <laughs> you stupid stuffed toy, don't go screw with people's bodies like that. What? Hold on, if you harm no Monokuma, you're going to... You intend to defy me yet again. You're quite the barbarian. Disappear! Jeez, this time you'll definitely fall prey to my Monokuma bazooka. Once again, the world shook and turned stark white. As if the surrounding environment and all sound was blown away by the impact. Turned everything completely white. Within that whiteness, I heard that voice yet again. Ah! Uh, uh, Nekomaru! Is this gonna be a recurring theme? <laughs> that didn't face me at all. Check it out. I'm intact. I have no injuries at all. Hey, hey. Are you fucking serious? He took that blast and doesn't even have a single scratch. <sighs> awesome. He's seriously a real robot. <laughs> hey, can you let me dismantle you? Can you let me disassemble you and show me your insides? If I get dismembered, I'll end up dying. By the way. I suppose I should fill you in. Even though he's a robot now, if Nakamaru is killed, it's still going to count as murder, okay? Of course. Of course, it's possible that Nakamaru might kill someone instead. <laughs> Don't say such silly things, that will never happen. <laughs> well, with all that in mind, you guys enjoy the killing school trip together. Let's get along. Once again, I hope we all get along. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's going to be a while before I can mentally process this. Um, will Nekomaru never return to his original form? If that is the case, it is a burden for Nekomaru. Sheesh! Hey, hey, it's not like I came back as a monster. I'm just a robot now, you know. Hmm. I'm sorry, I can't really see a difference. Uh-huh. Well, I just consider this a little promotion. For making a robot one of the main characters, a genuine mystery is transformed into sci-fi mystery. Ooh. And the hard-boiled is transformed into cyberpunk. Hey. You're totally destroying the Zorphorus! Oh well, who cares? As long as it's fun, it's totally fine. <laughs> as I listened to Monokuma's boisterous laugh, once again I was forced to accept. This island is not the day-to-day -day world I know. It's a mad world where the strange is accepted as normal. Causes, reasoning, circumstances, foreshadowing. These things don't apply here at all. That's what it means to live in a mad world. Chapter 4, Do Ultimate Robots, Dream of Clockwork, Daily Life. Next morning we gathered at the hotel restaurant like we always do. Man, food today was awesome as usual. As always, you should eat a lot. I feel relaxed just by looking at you. It's impossible not to worry about it. No matter what, this feels really strange. It's not something I'll get used to, you still. Hey, hey. Anyway, what are you gonna do, Mechamaru? Mechamaru, you're used to him already? <clears throat> what am I gonna do? Mm. For food, do you need, like, oil? Hey, hey. Regular? Premium? Well... Nah, he doesn't need oil. Since he said it's pure electricity, maybe it's battery powered or something. <laughs> I can totally eat normal food, especially rice dishes. I can't keep my eyes off them. Yeah. I've been feeling a little down today, so I don't have much of an appetite. All right. Are you, mal are you malfunctioning? If you show me your insides, I can fix you up, you know. <laughs> no means no. <laughs> uh, what? So you're here too? Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I should know my place and not speak at term when everyone's gathered together like this. However, I just want to make sure I spoke to you about what happened yesterday. What happened yesterday? Mm. That person Mikan called her beloved. I can't help thinking about that, and it won't get out of my head. What? Hmm. Am I just a coward for worrying about that? Let me tell you It this. crossed my mind as well, but based on how she phrased it... <laughs> So this is the end. 
this is really... Now I can go to my beloved and be forgiven. I can finally see my beloved. Please forgive me, as my hopes have finally seen you die with me. This, too, must be the will of causality. It was as if she was speaking to an entity that does not exist in this world. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. Fine. More importantly, we should be thinking about the future foundation, our enemy. If that fearsome organization known as a world ender is truly responsible for our imprisonment. If you glitch, you will die! Then investigating who's behind that organization is our top priority. The future foundation. Hmm. That word future. Does that have anything to do with the ancient ruin? I mean there's no doubt that that symbol in the door to the ancient room was the Japanese word future. If that's the case, it might be better if we investigate the ancient ruins again later. However, however, the more I think about it, the less sense it makes. Why would an organization that's secretly plotting to end the world make us suffer like this? They went to a lot of trouble to abduct us and bring us to this island. Not only that, they took away several years worth of memories of our lives at Oak Creek Academy. The reasons that are also unknown. Future Foundation World Ender, ha! Huh? There's obviously something wrong with you believing something so unrealistic. Hey, hey. Yeah, what's it up? But what should we do? What should we be most concerned about as it relates to the Future Foundation? Isn't that right? It's the traitor from the Future Foundation that's hiding among us. Hey. I wonder who it is. The true identity of the outsider hiding among us and trying to ensnare us. I won't be fooled! Nagato, Nagato's obviously most suspicious though. <laughs> Even the childish organization blabbering about ending the world wouldn't accept someone like me. Man. Nobody wants a worthless human like me to join their group. <laughs> you guys should know that feeling well, right? I certainly do. You think so? And that's the reason why you're not the traitor? I don't understand your theory at all. Huh? Then who do you think is the most suspicious? It's obvious. I nominate Hajime. Huh? Wow. Well, isn't it normal to doubt the most unlikely candidate? Hey. Not just that, you're the only one here who still doesn't know what ultimate talent you possess. If we're basing this on an outsider hiding among a group of ultimates, Hajime should be doubted right away. Then Hajime's the traitor? Of course not! Why? What are you even saying? You shouldn't raise your voice like that. We might become even more suspicious of you, you know. This is obviously your fault! Set her down! Stop fighting! <laughs> Don't you think fighting with ourselves like this is Monokuma's trap? That might be true, but... Alright, I'll handle this. Just leave this matter to me. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> To eliminate this tense atmosphere, allow me to present to you my new function that I discovered last night. Excuse you? Huh? New function? <gasps> Don't tell me, is it flight? Can you fly? No! It's not a conventional function like that, it's far more practical, practical and novel. <sighs> oh, let's go! What the hell is going on? Behold! Huh? Nekomaru is crying! Hardly, I'm not crying. My right eye dispenses cola. And my left eye dispenses rooibos tea. Behold! Are you kidding me? What, you a soda fountain? Damn it. I know I'll be here all day if we keep commenting on every little thing you do. Don't fuck with me. But what me. the hell was Monokuma thinking about giving you a function like that? You're so evil. That guy is definitely fooling around. Monokuma's just toying with other people's bodies. <laughs> I too was modified by Monokuma so I totally understand how Nekomaru feels. <laughs> but don't be depressed. You'll get used to it. It's surprising how quickly you'll get used to it. I'll beat you up. Don't go biting in our conversation all of a sudden. It'll kill you until you die from it, you stupid rabbit. That's, that's an extremely violent thing to say to someone. <laughs> you showed up this time means... Did you come to tell us that you defeated another Monobeast? Ta-da! You're correct! <laughs> Once again, you can visit a new island, so please take this opportunity to get along with everyone. 
I ain't going, what a drag. <laughs> Even if we go to the new island, it's not like we're going to find a way to escape this place, right? You are right. Rather, I feel as though the opportunity to kill increases every time we go to a new island. So it might be best if we do not go. <laughs> I renounce you! I don't know what you're planning, fiend, but we're not going to fall for it. Ah, jeez, how annoying! Just stay back and leave the rest of your big brother. I'll give you an example of how to lure these guys to you, little sis. Hey, what are you doing? You're acting like we're, we're allies or something. I tell you to stay back! This technique, it's impossible to defend against it or evade. Why does it say delicious? Well now. There, now that I've mopped up the annoying one. Special please. Okay, since you guys are feeling down in the dumps, I'll make you guys so excited your noses will bleed. Compared to the earlier investigations, I prepared a special treat that's completely different than before. Mm, treat? Nice! Oh, you took the bait, I guess it's true. If you want to get a shutting out of their room, carrots work the best. Huh? Who the fuck cares about that? Hurry up and tell us what the treat is. <laughs> it's an amazing treat. Don't wear your pants. Well, it's okay if you do. Just don't spray it on me. I prepared a bunch of stuff you guys might find interesting on the new island. Miracle! Such as clues about the future foundation. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Such as parts that may be useful for making a ship. Are you serious? Are you for real? News! And also your student pi profiles from your time at Hope's Peak Academy. Huh? So, so do your best to explore. Take care! Hey, what should we do? You know, right? Only option is to go, obviously. We might be able to go home if you have ship parts. Yep. I plan to go too if they're close about the future foundation. We need to make sure we see them. Hajime. What about you, Hajime? Of course you're going right. If you look at your student profile, you might be able to find out what your shining talent is. <laughs> it's a chance for you to clear in suspicions, right? What suspicions? I don't think anyone here doubts me. What? Ah, I see. But if there's a clue about my talent, I want to know what it is. The reason Hope Speak Academy chose me. The talent I possess. These things matter to me. There's no way I'm not worried about it. It seems you've all prepared yourself for the worst. To get that means up. we're gonna go, right? I... If everyone is going, I shall accompany you as well. But there's also a possibility that Monokuma set a trap. We should be careful where we step. I can't stop thinking about that ancient room that might hold clues about the future foundation. But we should start exploring the new island. Okay, let's have a look at this new island then. Check on the pet, let's be honest. Then. Island number four. Let's have a look see. The mono beast that was blocking this bridge has disappeared all of a sudden. I've been wondering this for a while, but how is something as pathetic as Monomy able to defeat a mono beast? No, it'd just be a waste of time to think about something like that. That's why we have the mini game on the menu. She used to think about things that are a waste of time. I've learned that much during my time here. As I walked across the bridge, I started to see the scenery on the new island on the other side. Is this an amusement park? It's like this whole island is one giant amusement park. It looks fun, amazing, exciting, thrilling. This makes it look even creepier. creepy looking building doesn't seem like it belongs in an amusement park. 
This is supposed to be a haunted house. Why does it... It's, it's called Monomy's house, but it's got the sign shit to me. Um, I don't really understand it, but this I certainly feels festive. Perhaps. If Hyoka and Ibuki were here, they would have definitely enjoyed this. I don't like this. What the hell? Is something is wrong with this island? Why is this here? When they're forcing us to kill each other. Dumbass. This is such bad taste. Uh, let's... The sign at the top of the building definitely says Horror House, but it's like whatever building used to be here was converted into a haunted house or something. Ever <laughs> since he took away my magic stick, Monokuma has been doing whatever he pleases. I've been reduced to the role of an unwanted child. My influence is weaker than it's ever been. I noticed that look what he did to my house! <laughs> this is too much! There's nothing good about this at all! Will remember me as the greatest character to ever become a one-shot punchline. Oh, uh, Hajime, you were here. You didn't notice until now. <laughs> How terrible me as your teacher to cry in front of one of my students. That haunted house over there is that your house? It was, but when I came get bullied me, I ended up like this. Uh... It was supposed to be cute. My house was supposed to be cute. Teachers have a private side, but no students out on the seat. Um, also, you're a boy of a certain age, and I'm a, I'm a robotic bunny of a certain age. If you come inside, I'll make sure I leave the door open halfway, otherwise, my mummy won't shut up about it. Ooh, what am I saying? It's just a what if scenario, okay? Anyway, this is Monomy's house, and it's safe to say that we're not allowed inside. So waste of time to stay here any longer, I should hurry and go somewhere else as fast as I flipping can. Nezumi Castle. Wait, isn't Nezumi the um, Japanese word for yet yeah, mouse? Use a Perks Castle, it's mouse themed. There's a lot of different things I could say about this building, but I probably shouldn't say anything at all under, for the sake of copyright reasons. <laughs> what? That's the only thing I can't handle! Who cares? Ooh. How? You two can allow my son either? No. Well, we're siblings after all. Yeah. No, not mice! I don't like them! Come on, loudmouse. I feel like my stress level just keeps rising around them. Oh this building is full of dangerous areas. I feel like I should say something about it. Oh, what a coincidence. Just think of the same thing. Oh. Well, no matter how fancy it is, it's got nothing on Masanya's castle. After all, she's the real deal. Masanya is a 100% pure princess who lives in a 100% pure castle. Don't talk so confidently about a castle you've never seen before. Hi, Mekamaru. Did you just beep at me? Hey, are you okay? There's a strange mechanical sound coming from your body. I guess it's okay. Since it's a robot, it makes sense that he makes mechanical noises now. That sounds me means I'm feeling emotionally charged right now. I see your body makes noises based on your feelings, okay? <laughs> just now I've activated a new function. A new function? Is are it flight? Can you find the fly? Now then, prepare yourself! It opened? A clock. Okay, he's got a cuckoo clock function. I'm able to sense the passage of time. I don't even need to look at clocks anymore. Whether it's training, meals, or baths, there's no doubt this feature is useful in a variety of situations. It actually comes out of your chest. What are you, a cuckoo clock? Hold on! A cuckoo clock? Don't compare me to one of those everyday clocks. This is a highly efficient radio clock. 
Radio clock? Ah. It's a type of clock that receives radio signals so it can automatically update the time at fixed intervals. Simple boy is an extremely accurate clock. Oh. That's right, it's a clock that will never slow down. It's even designed so that it cannot be adjusted. <laughs> I've become a time lord. Yeah. Well, even if it's an accurate clock, they didn't need to install it inside your body. What? what are you saying? I don't need to wear a wristwatch ever again. There's nothing more useful than this. That monokumi is definitely toying with people's bodies. Hey, I was just wondering. You! Is a mere human going to offer his opinion to me? An overlord fascinating, fascinating you fiend. I'll play your game, you rogue. Come tell me. Try to satisfy my bored act, Davis of Destruction. That's right, those hamsters could probably pass for mice, right? So, maybe you can defeat Monokuma and Monomu, your hamsters? I already told you, hamsters are merely their temporary form. A fiend like you is incapable of imagining what would happen once they shed their, they shed their transient guises. Why did, why did I go Scottish on the word transient, anyway? Ignorance is horrendous. That's why it's only interesting to conserve converse with humans once in a while. He gave some roundabout excuse that makes no sense, but my guess is he doesn't want to put them in danger. Because he loves his ickle wickle hamsties. So are we not able to, you know, go Oh yeah. So the future foundation is watching us from the other side of this camera. Damn it, enough already. How much longer are you planning to keep us on this island? If it was me, I'd end up going I'd end up sticking the finger up every time I went past a freaking camera. Huh? It's locked! Ooh, how exciting. Maybe a bunch of mice are pressed up against the other side of the door. Just think about it's too awful! Yeah. No, not mice! Anyway, it looks like we can't go in here. Well, that's a light down. There's a giant freaking castle and I can't go in! Can't go to the ice cream stand either, what a waste! You can I go on the roller coaster? On second thought, I don't want to go on the roller coaster. Is there a roller coaster here? Well, obviously, since it's an amusement park. Too bad, it's still under maintenance! This ride isn't intense enough yet, so I'm in the middle of powering it up like crazy! I don't think you need to do that, it's not like anyone's going to ride this anyway. Now, now, don't say that, I also prepared a prize for you! You plan to beat us with a prize again. Anyway, please enjoy the other attractions first, I'll make sure I finish the maintenance by then. And there'll be bits of the track missing, but who cares? And now I should come back here after I've checked out the other areas. What am I going to do? I should think about that when the time comes. Hiya, Carney! Yahoo! A roller coaster! Roller coaster is the only reason to go to the amusement parks. There's nothing like a good thrill ride. Apparently, it's still in the maintenance, but I'll be first in line to ride it as soon as it's fixed. This is really going to be that fun. No, it's definitely not going to be fun. It's like a building out of a fairy tale, minus the creepy looking train. I don't really understand this concept. What kind of attraction is this supposed to be? <sighs> Where are we supposed to find clues about the future foundation in an amusement park? How about you? Did you find anything? Like your school profile, maybe? How about you go screw yourself, mate? It's supposed to be a cute looking train, but the design totally ruins it. Welcome to the fun house. Fun house? With this train I'm conducting, I shall take you all to the fun house. Nonetheless, your body will be crushed asunder by then. And there's no way I'm riding that thing. You'll never be able to ride it anyway. You know what, in order to go to the fun house, all of you guys have to ride this train. All of us. If you want to try to go to Funhouse, you got to assemble everyone here. Nonetheless, your body will be crushed 
thunder by then. This obviously smells fishy. This is clearly a trap. I've decided I'm never going to ride this thing. Alright, I think it's time I head it over to the roller coaster. Everybody here. What me I want to know something cool. I want Monokuma. We'll all get a treat if we ride that roller coaster together. Hey, I'm not hey. riding that thing. Did I tell you? I got crazy classic. Welcome. Welcome to the main attraction of this amusement park, the Great Ultra Delicious Coaster. Is it really true that we'll get a prize for riding this? Sure thing. What's the prize? Oh no, that's a surprise for after you ride this! Hey, do we really have to ride this together? Didn't I tell you already? Are those ears for decoration? No, I'm not gonna do it. No, no, it's gonna be fine. Frill rides are sweet. Everyone who likes them always says that, but I already know that they're not fun at all. Well, there's a possibility that the prize is gonna be those ship parts, you know. That might be true, but... Might I ask? Where will this ride take us? No, nope. it won't take us anywhere. It's just going to circle around and come back here. Uh, what is the meaning behind that? You fiend, have you never gone to an amusement park? I am I'm embarrassed to say that we do not have these in my country. Fine. See, I've only gone to an amusement park once during my childhood. But it was an amusement park in hell filled with man-eating demons. Amusement packed in hell? I've never heard of such a thing. By all means, please allow me to accompany you next time. Hey, hey, hey. They're doing me, Sonia. That guy has a habit of lying. <laughs> the entrance fee is the blood of a virgin. I shall offer up your blood as tribute. Is... Oh. It seems that is a shame. It seems my blood cannot be used as the entrance fee, for I am not a virgin. That Wait, does that mean, me? Miss Sonia? Hey. hey everyone, it's just going to be a waste of time if we stand around like this. Why See? do we try riding it? That's Hold up, why do we have want. to just try riding it? <laughs> Nakamura, can I leave this to you? Understood. Leave it to me. Hey, 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 hey. Stop it, stop it. Please, let me go. Ah. Let me go. But despite his depra desperate struggling, Kazuichi got stuffed into the roller coaster. Now All then. aboard the great ultra delicious coaster! Monokuma shouts, the roller coaster took off at maximum speed. They already are. Off. Be still, my heart. This is so much fun. I'm gonna die. Let me die. Yes, indeed. All right, we've arrived. That was it. Wasn't that fun? So it's finally over. That was a little too intense. Hey, let's go. Let's go in it one more time. I agree, once more. No friggin' way. Hey, more importantly, where's our treat? Oh, you're right, here you go. The treat is a file. Huh? This symbol. It's the same symbol that's on the door of the ancient ruin. If so, this file must be. A file from the Future Foundation. Will we be able to find out who they are if we look at this? Hey. Is it alright if I check inside? Sure Here. thing, do whatever you like! They gathered around Nagato as he received the file, and stared at him intensely as he carefully turned the pages. Hook's Week Academy, ironically, became the site of the school killing life. Or killing school life. Oh, that's the last game! Must have had the plan? Look, the students stand the academy and force them to kill each other. 
Students who were pushed to their limit eventually reached a state of heightened paranoia. And that's how the killing began. The killings committed by those students lasted several days. But at a certain point, the curtain suddenly fell. A group of students united and staged a counter-attack against the mastermind who paid with their life. With this, the six students who survived were able to escape the academy. Wait. Hey. Are those photos on the left? Photos of, photos of the six people who survived? Then what does this mean? Why is he in this photo? Byakuya! Byakuya! I looked down at where Nakatu was pointing. Huh? He was much thinner as if he was an entirely different person but he looked exactly like someone we knew. The ultimate affluent... Affi aff yeah, affluent progeny. Yaki Togami. It was exactly like them, the first victim on this island. What? This definitely looks like Byakuya. Why is Byakuya's photo in here? What is this? What does this mean? Like, what's this killing school trip that they're talking about? Yep. It looks like the killings we're involved in resemble this set of killings that happened before. And that took place inside Hope's Peak Academy. Hey, Hold on, did these fucked up killings actually happen inside the Hope's Peak Academy? That's not possible, there's no way the teachers or the police would let that happen. Let's However, what if the future Foundation world and there was the one who initiated this? Whoa. You mean that organisation was the one who took over Hope Speak Academy then? Don't That's not possible, that. that's stupid. If Biaki was still alive, we'd have been able to le learn the details of this. How unfortunate. However, However we lost our memories, correct? That should have applied to Biaki as well. Also, Byakuya never said a word about such a past actually existing. Let me tell you well, he was this. killed before he could. So he became the first victim before he could tell us about any of this. Ah, uh, perhaps that's what Byakuya was planning to talk to me about. I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my sceptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn, for a long time my life has been a living hell. Was he specifically referring to this killing school line? Hey. Anyway, as long as Byaki is no longer with us, we have no choice but to ask Monokuma. How does the killing school life that occurred at Hutspeak Academy relate to this island? Hey, the only thing I can um, say is... All the answers are in your school memories that were taken away. Yeah. Then give them back. Give those memories back to us. No, 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 no. The Future Foundation took your memories and I can't do anything about it in my current state. Regardless, it's unforgivable. I will never forgive those who try to trample hope. They should all be destroyed. Ah, this is making sense. This isn't making sense again. How fucking annoying. Well, man, just let me go back home. Where the hell are the ship parts? Oh, oh who knows? This should be somewhere on this island. I have searched this island once through, but I did not find ship parts anywhere. No, the fun house should still be left. Based on what I've heard, it seems we cannot access this unless we're all gathered together, correct? correct? Ding ding, correct! That's right, the treats you can't find yet are all hidden inside the funhouse. Hey. The ship parts should be there too, right? No, not just the ship parts, if you means all the treats. That also includes our Hope Speak Academy student profiles, which means a clue about my talent should be there too. It might be a trap, it might be a trap, but it's definitely a trap. It's like we're actually caught in a trap then. Everyone, let's go. Let's try going to the fun house. However, I see, is that really alright? The fun house is that creepy looking building, right? But we have no other choice. We, may, we might be able to obtain the ship parts if we go there. <laughs> and learn the secret of Hajime's talent too. Yep. Fine, I think we should listen to Hajime and head over to the fun house as well. <laughs> Looks like you guys have decided. I have things to repair, so I'll be going first. I'll see you later. Hmm. I'm not really on board with this idea, but if everyone says they're gonna go, I guess I have no choice. I guess I have to go with everyone. I shall Plunging my, yourself into a trap is an act of sheer madness. That's what makes it truly interesting. That's decided. 
Maybe it's because we were shown a new mystery from that future foundation file, but I was panicking. I couldn't keep still after being forced to see more mysteries that didn't make sense. I felt like I didn't even care if it was a trap. And because of that panic, I completely forgot. Monokuma's traps are always far beyond our imagination. I completely forgot about that. I just need to get on this train, right? No well, there's no really no need to be cautious. It's not like it's got a speed up, drop, fly or anything else. Hey. I'm gonna believe you this time, but you better be telling the truth. Alright, let's go! As soon as we all stepped on, the small train started slowly moving and went inside the dim tunnel. Ladies and gentlemen, this train is heading toward the funhouse! Allow me to guide you all to the world of surprises on this train that runs toward glory! Please be careful of where you step. Also, it's dangerous to stand up all of a sudden. Well, it's not like you have time to do that. What the hell? Is this gas? This is definitely much. As soon as that white smoke surrounded us, our bodies started to feel soft like mollusks. Our brains felt that they were starting to melt into a puddle of mush. In the end, we lost consciousness. Uh, I don't like it! When I woke up, I was someplace that didn't make sense. It was clearly a place I'd never seen before. My sense of reality was still hazy, so I wasn't able to react right away. Where is this? However, when I looked over at Nekamaru standing tall in a wide stance, my sense of reality felt even hazier. Man, I slept good. Oh my. Where are we? What? what the hell is this? Voices expressing surprise and confusion began to surround me, one after another. It seems that the others have started to wake up as well. Mm, why was I sleeping at a place like this? Oh well, I should go back to sleep for a little longer. That's no, don't you seriously wrong. can't do that. I assume that this was this gas is doing. Damn it! The gas that we we're forced to breathe right after the train started moving. It must have knocked us all out. And then we were brought here, right? I see. In that case, this must be the interior of the fun house. Welcome! Welcome, welcome to Strawberry House! Strawberry House? Isn't this the fun house? Yeah. Of course it's the fun house! Strawberry House is a part of the fun house. A part, you say? This is Strawberry House in its entirety. You're currently at the indoor park located on the third floor. As you can see, there are a lot of playground equipment with strawberry designs. How fancy. Now then, the next is the second floor. It's a lounge that's perfect for freshening up and I prepared five guest rooms that are lined up like boom. The guest rooms are divided up by quality grade. The deluxe room is soundproof and has excellent air insulation. The standard room may have so-so insulation but it's still pretty decent. And the crummy room has severe airflow and draft problems. That concludes my explanation on the second floor, last but not least, the first floor of Strawberry House. On this floor there's a room called the Final Dead Room. That's all like BOOM! You can enter the Final Dead Room at any time. Be extra cautious when you pick the difficulty setting. On the same floor there's a hallway called Strawberry Hall. And when you pass through it, there's a truly strange enormous tower standing tall with a BOOM BOOM. It's called Strawberry Tower. Please shoot your own two feet to get a feel for what the inside of Strawberry Tower is like. This concludes the tour, but I think it was difficult to understand with my wording explanation. So you should all use your own two feet to explore the inside of the building. That's all from me. Any questions? Hell yeah, we have questions, obviously. Really, really? What's your question, really? To bring us to a place like this, what are you planning to make us do this time? That's right, I have a lot of questions, but let's start with that one first. I didn't explain it to you. This is the motive this time. An escape game! Escape game? The concept this time is a closed circle within a closed circle. 
At Cove Speak Academy back then, this fun house is a completely closed space. Hey, There's only one way um... to get out of this closed space building. When the killing begins, I'll let you guys out when the next killing happens. Let the escape game begin! Huh? Whoa. <laughs> what the fuck? Damn it. I can't get out of here till the next killing happens. This is true. Yeah, this is a trap, but I never expected it to be so straightforward. How oh, foolish, foolish of me. me. If only I'd erected a magic barrier, I would have had to breathe in that gas. I let my guard down and end up falling asleep. Hey! Like, why would it guess even work on a rubber? That's supposed to be when you make your move. Gosh, shouldn't pose a problem, but if they activate my sleep mode, even I won't stand a chance. Huh? Sleep mode? Oh. That's right, it's a cutting edge function that puts my other functions to sleep, even if I have insomnia. Just press the good night button on the back of my neck and I'll be forced into sleep mode. What's the point of that function? Did I just tell you it puts my other functions to sleep even if I have insomnia? Hey, hey. Do you even need to sleep? In order to awaken the sleep mode, I just need to set the alarm in my chest. It's not possible with just one touch. Jeez. Damn it, he's not even listening. He probably wants to live like humans as much as he can. Such is the sad nature, nature of robotic organisms. Mm. At any rate, my camera should have stuffed him with a lot of useless functions. Anyway, Becca Mario must have lost consciousness because his button was pressed. Damn it. What a blunder, he must have taken advantage of that white smoke and went around me. I'll never let that happen again! Hey, hey, for now. why don't we look for the exit? What? Exit? Is there even an exit? I mean, if there was, this wouldn't be a closed space, right? It'd make Monokuma's motive meaningless. Dumbass! What are you giving up for, dumbass? If we're brought inside this place, then there's definitely an exit out somewhere. Amazing! Amazing, a heart that refuses to give up until the very end. That must be hope. Tess, <laughs> I understand. Like, let's explore the inside of this building with that map we got. What? But exploring on your own is too dangerous. It might be better if we team up with someone. Damn right! Then a kind of you can be me. Huh? Oh, what an unusual combo. <laughs> can this guy be? Huh? It's nothing like that, idiot. It's just something I want to talk to her about. I don't mind, whatever's fine. Wow. Oh, when you two stand right next to each other, there's a noticeable height difference. Yes, Drop sir. it, bastard. You. Hey, if we're gonna go, let's hurry up and go. Damn right. Alright, let's then we'll go on ahead first. Those parting words, the two of them left the area. Miss Sonia. Well, Miss Sonia, it's, it's scarce it's time we also. However. Sonya already left with Gundam. Huh? Aww, <laughs> oh, you got dumped. Of course Idiot, not. I didn't get dumped. Why did I get dumped? In fact, I'm really popular. That's obviously not true. Now then. I think it's time for me to get going too, so... Hey. Chiaki, would you like to go together? Huh? Me? Yep. I haven't really had a chance to talk to you. So I thought this would be a great opportunity. For now. The day with me, you too. Free people is okay, right? Huh? Oh, that's fine, bud. Oh, I <laughs> get it. Kazuichi's trying to avoid Hajime. Huh? Hey, hey, what are you hey. talking about? Avoid Hajime? It's nothing like that. What do you mean? Well. Oh, I don't hunch, but maybe Kazuichi can't stop thinking about it, you know? The possibility that you're the traitor. What? <laughs> I was just... I just said what Kazuichi was feeling. I mean... Well, you know, the truth is we don't know anything about you, so it's not my fault if I don't trust you. What does that mean? We've been together this whole time and you still don't know who I am? That's like, that matters. It's not like I know the real you. Just... Like... How? We don't know anything about Mikan. The real me? And the only reason we're here is because you were the one who suggested we go to the funhouse, right? Are you saying I lured you guys here? Why would I do that? That's right. It's not that far-fetched, you know. Uh, I'm sorry, Hajime. I really do want to trust you. Hmm. But I just can't yet. 
That's why I'm going with Chiaki. It's not like I want to go with Nagato either. But you say Nagato's more trustworthy than me? What the hell? Dude! Damn it, why did this happen? Yep. Okay, Kazuichi, officially no more, bro. If that's the case, it is what it is. Why didn't you come along with us, Kazuichi? Ah, hmm. uh, but... It's fine, Chiaki. Just go. Yep. Got it. I'll see you later. With that, Kazuichi, Chiaki, and Nagato all left together to explore the area. Huh? I guess where the leftovers looks like look, we're not very well liked. <laughs> it's not like complaining about it will change anything. We're just a traitor and a robot after all. I'm not the traitor! Oh, that's right. My apologies. Well then, Hajime. Let's show everyone else the value in leftovers. Let's magnificently find the exit with our very own hands. If we do that, it will solve everything. When people stop trusting you, it seriously sucks. And I think that's a great place to do is end our episode for today. I am Tea Drinking Turret. If you like this episode, feel free to subscribe and like. And I hope to see all of you lovelies in the next episode. Bye!